Morning, how are we guys? Hope you're all well on this beautiful day we've got today. I hope wherever, whatever day you're watching me, I hope it's a nice day. So we are in Highton today. Um, we're at a property. Uh, the owners asked me to come out. They're going to. He just recently bought the property, uh, and they're redoing, uh, renovating it all, and they're going to uh, redo the uh, landscaping. They're going to completely change all of this. Going to cut it all away um, and put new retaining walls and so forth, and fix it all up and make it more presentable and more usable. Uh, but obviously, before he does any of that, he needs to know where the underground services are. Just pulling up now, I can already see there's going to be power. Where does, how does the power get to this place? So I'll try, to, I'll try to find where the power comes. Obviously, you're going to have telephone. Uh, see so where the telephone comes. There'll be stormwater as well. Sewer. There'll be everything underground. So let's uh, go through. Um, you might as well watch me from, from where to go. They'll watch the whole lot and see how we go and locate everything. Let's get into it. All right, I think the first thing we might try and locate is, actually, I might do the power first. Uh, we'll generally try to do the conductive services first because they're the ones that are going to be the uh, easiest to find. So yeah, so we'll start on the power. Uh, might do the telstra after that, so let's go and do the power. Okay, I can't really see where the uh, switchboard is. Normally, normally the power would be going to a corner of the property or to a switchboard, but hmm, that's a... Uh, Let's see where it goes, where it takes me. Wow. Here we go. I think I'm glad we're videoing this. We've got a, it goes directly to the house. Right there. Let's go for a walk inside. I want to see if we can uh, find it in the house. Okay, let's see. If it's going under the house. Oh, look at that. I won't go and uh, mark his house, but at least I can tell him, as I say, because you can see, we're looking around, that he is going to be doing some renovating through here. So at least I'll tell him that it is going through the house just in case he decides to, uh, yeah, do any uh, works in here. We're using the uh, Rycom clamp meter on this job. So what I'm going to do, just because this section here could be critical to where they're going. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and set up the transmitter up the top, and then we'll just locate this last bit. Okay, that's power done. Uh, definitely didn't go where I expected it to go, but I guess that's the whole point of them getting us out. So I'll pack up this now, and we'll go next on Maybe the Telstra, although I'll just double check the Telstra plans, just to double check where the Telstra is meant, meant to come in from. So let's go. Okay, so now I'm just checking the dial before you dig plans. Um, the Telstra dial fitting plans are normally pretty good. The accuracy obviously isn't the best, but it shows us where the, where the Telstra comes in from, what pits they come in from in the street. So I just want to double check to see, because I've seen a pit there, but there should be a separate. I oh, know. No, it says that that pit there is where the Telstra comes into the house from. Let's uh, let's lift the pit and see if I can find a little two pair in there. All right, so we're at a nine pit as per the plan. Now the issue, not the issue, but which one do you reckon the uh, little two pairs coming in from? Let's try the furthest. No, no good. Ah, oh, that's all right. There it is. All right, I'll grab the locator and let's locate this Telstra cable. Now, one of the advantages of using the uh, clamp meter is that we can clamp onto the cable, close the pit up, and don't have to worry about anyone falling into the pit. Okay, so where is it? Oh, not the best signal. I would have assumed it would have gone straight, but let's go, let's do a full arc and just double check. Okay, so there's the one in the street, there's the main line. Ah, there it is. We've got it here. Ah, have a look at this. There's our Telstra. All right, let's locate it.
Okay, so we've got the same issue again. I'm too close to my clamp meter, so I might just put my transmitter up there, and similar to what we did with that power cable before. Okay, and that is Tastra done. I think we'll do gas next. Now, gas pipes are plastic, uh, well, most of them are plastic, um, so I need to hook onto the trace wire. <laughs> this uh, this gas meter is pretty buried, as you can see, so I'm gonna have to uh, get the shovel out and have a bit of a dig, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we can uh, find a, a trace wire. Let's grab the shovel. Okay, I can see there's definitely a trace wire on it, which is good, but I need to get to the end of it so I can bite onto it. So, let's keep digging. Okay, that was a bit harder, but we got there. So there's the trace wire right there. So let's bite onto it and see where that trace wire goes. Yep. Okay, and that's gas done. So that's gas done, that's power done, that's telephone done. Next is water. Um, I've had a quick look around, I can't find this water meter. The owner said to me he thinks the water might be in here. He's only just brought the property, so he's not sure exactly. Um, I just had a bit of a dig through here before and I can't see this water meter anywhere. All right, um, I don't know how it's gonna work, but another idea is to hook on at a water meter in the house or what, uh, hook on at a water pipe around the back of the house if, if there's one. And fingers crossed, if it's all copper, all gal, we might be able to get it coming out here. I, I don't reckon it's gonna work, but we've gotta try something. We've gotta find this water pipe, because the last thing you want is to hit the water pipe when you don't know where the water meter is and you can't turn it off. Let's go, let's go hook onto a water pipe and see if we can find it. Okay, I found a tap. It does actually look gal, but that's it, uprise. We don't know what it'd be like when it goes through the house, so let's uh, try and locate it. Fingers crossed, you never know. Got it. All right, so I've got a water pipe coming here. I've got the water pipe coming there. What do you reckon? The water meter here? I reckon it's buried. I reckon they've buried it. I'm just gonna tell the owner, somewhere in there, I think the water meter is. Okay, that's water done, that's telephone done, that's power done, that's gas done. Storm water, let's, let's try storm water next. Okay, so earlier when I was digging down for the gas, I found this storm water from here coming down the downpipe and then out to the street. The owner actually showed me the one in the street before and said they're gonna to have to move that because it's in the way from, where the, from the works they're doing. What worries me though, so th this one here has only got this downpipe here coming down, but I saw before, come for a walk over here, I'll show you this. So this downpipe here, so when it rains, water hits the gutters, comes down the downpipe, where does that pipe go? Is it going that way? I think that's going uphill. So is it going down to the other stormwater? There should only be, in most houses, there should only be one legal point of discharge, which is over there. So they should be going that way. I don't know how it gets that way though. So what I might do is drill a hole. I've got a little um, cap that I can put on uh, down pipe so I can drill a hole in the side of that, put my camera down the pipe, push it down there, and then we'll see where this pipe does go. Uh, and then afterwards when I pull it out, I can put a cap over it so that this way it's all uh, nice and neat. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the camera down the pipe and let's see where, the, uh, where it goes. Okay, so this is a good example. So I'm barely down, well, once you take off that, say two meters and I can't get any further. I can see the pipe, I can see that it keeps going, but because I've gone past one, two, three, four bends, because I've gone around four different bends, I can't, bends, I can't get around to where the pipe next year needs to go. Unfortunately, the, the cable's not that flexible enough to be able to uh, yeah, get around four bends and then keep pushing. So we're gonna have to try to go from another, another direction. All right, what I think I might try now, I'm gonna go from the legal point of discharge and push it up the pipe, upstream, and see if I can maybe see this line here going down. I might go that way and then tee in that way there. So let's just see what we can see in that pipe. What worries me with this one is I reckon it's been a while since it's been cleaned out. So we might not be able to see much, but let's see what we can see. 
at least with stormwater, I'm not too concerned. Fixing stormwater pipes isn't that hard. So, if, especially when the owner's doing a heap of other work here, if he hits the stormwater, it's not going to be the end of the world for him. But if I can still find it, it still helps. Oh, there we go, look at that. I can really tell the uh, owner that there's an issue with one of the pipes that's been damaged or it's been dinted in. Shouldn't cause too much of an issue, but oh, look at that. Okay, so I think, yeah, I can see a bit of a junction there, but that is just full of mud. All right, let's move on from the stormwater. I'm not gonna be able to find any more of the stormwater. Uh, there might be some other downpipes I can try getting in later on. But I think for now, let's move on to the sewer because uh, the sewer is a lot harder to fix uh, and a lot more critical, obviously. Okay, now, looking at the age of the property, I'm hoping that there's a uh, sewer point uh, that we can access. Newer properties, everything's uh, concealed, so it's a lot harder to put the camera down sewer pipes, but let's go around the back of the house again. Oh, I can't remember when we, when we were looking at the uh, power meter before. I reckon I saw sewer there. Let's go have a look. Might have been a downpipe. Might be sewer. Let's have a look. Ah, perfect. This is what I'm looking for. So yeah, so on older homes, we've got access points like this. On newer homes, often they're a lot harder to find. So what we do, open her up. Oh, don't want to smell it. Now, let's put the camera down there. You have advantage of doing this on a homes that owners have just brought um, is that we can actually see the sewer pipe itself. So I can tell them if there's any issues. I've seen it at other places where I can see cracks in the pipe or uh, just blockages or other issues that they might have. So for a new owner, uh, this is gonna kill two birds with one stone. <sighs> okay, 13 meters, I think we're now at the end. Let's uh, grab the locator and see if we can find where this pipe goes. Uh, actually, I reckon I can see already where it goes. That's our inspection opening uh, for the sewer main right there. But let's double check, it goes straight to it. It's right there. And it is 800 deep. We use cream for sewer, because uh, that's what the Australian standards uh, likes us to use when we locate sewer pipes. 900 mil deep there. Obviously it's getting deeper as we get away from the uh, line because the flow's gotta go down. All right, let's have a look inside. And there we go. There's the camera and the cable right there. Okay, and that's sewer done. That's it guys, all done and dusted. As you see, it's just a bit of a process you go through to locate everything, but pretty straightforward, it's what we do every day. If I can be of any assistance to you on your site, please get in touch and let us know. Until next time, take care, all the best, and see you in the next video.